Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. All right, today we have a letter that came in, but we're going to transgress from the normal, from the normal golf instruction here today. This one is kind of cute. I think you'll all enjoy it. It comes to us from Bill C. And he starts off by saying, it's the subject of this letter is golf balls. And I mean, we all have to have golf balls to play golf. He's going to give us some insights into golf balls. And, and then I'll, uh, and it's, he's written a poem and I've actually added some verses to it. And then, and then I'll give you my take on, on kind of like, uh, maybe where all of this is going. All right, before reading the neat poem below, here's a little known fact about golf balls. According to Golf World Magazine, the average golfer loses two golf balls per round for a worldwide total of approximately 2,465,752 every day. Worried about running out? Don't be. Companies like Titleist are working hard to ensure that that never happens. Titleist makes 1.2 million golf balls each day. Now enjoy the poem below. All right, it's a really cool poem. You're going to like it. And then with my addition, I think you'll like that too because I take the golf balls into something to do with the golf swing. Billy C. says, In my hand I hold a ball, white and dimpled, rather small. Oh, how bland it does appear, this harmless-looking little sphere. By its size I could not guess the awesome strength it does possess. But since I fell beneath its spell, I've wandered through the fires of hell. My life has not been quite the same since I chose to play this stupid game. It rules my mind for hours on end, a fortune it has made me spend. It has made me yell, curse, and cry. I loathe it, and I want to die. It promises a thing called par, if I can hit it straight and far. To master such a tiny ball should not be very hard at all. But my desires, the ball refuses, and does exactly as it chooses. It hooks and slices, dribbles and dies, and even disappears before my eyes. Often it will have a whim to hit a tree or take a swim. With miles of grass on which to land, it finds a tiny patch of sand, then has me offering up my soul, if only I would find a hole. It made me whimper like a pup and swear that I will give it up and take the drink and ease my sorrow, but the ball knows I'll be back tomorrow. Now my surge edition. But alas, these evils I have purged because I have found the one and only surge. He teaches the three-quarter vertical swing, which we all know is the real thing. We hit it longer, more solid and straight, and being body friendly is also great. This lets us forget about aches and pains and both physical and mental strain. Oh, and yes, the best of deal of all, I play 18 holes or more with the same ball. Balls hit down the middle and on the green I do not lose. Instead, what when dull and worn out, I retire them when I choose. That's my part. So what do I think all this means? Well, conclusion, at least the part I brought in, all these many things that happens like uh, that were brought up in the, in the first paragraph about, about hitting slices and dribbles and, 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 and dies in the ball, you hit them thin and, and all these other things. We know that the peak performance golf swing, because it's more efficient, has less moving parts, is in harmony with the, the laws of physics and physiology. So in other words, our body is set up and swinging the way that, 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 that will maximize the laws of physics and have least wear and tear in the body. We will consistently hit the ball much more solid and straight. And, and with that, we keep the ball in play, as I said in my part of the poem. I one time, a while back, way back in the beginning, this is going back six or eight years now, uh, we had, on, 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 uh, after the dailies, there was always a, uh, a forum where you could go and talk. Guys started talking about how long they used the same ball. And, and what I wrote about here about I wear them out, that's the truth. I mean, I hardly ever lose a golf ball, hardly. And we had one man that said he had played something like 136 holes with the same ball. Now that sucker had to be worn out pretty good. But he was just going for the long, 
until he finally lost it. And, and, uh, but that's a lot of holes. And, and I'm not about to try to do the math down in front of the camera. But BPGS is basically the answer to this awesome, cool little poem. The swing is much more, the setup and swing is more efficient, consistent, and therefore you hit the ball much more solid, straight, longer, and stays in play. And you probably will not end up being one of those statistical uh, problems of golfers of losing two balls a day or more. All right? Remember to say at least two balls. And so reduce, reduce your stress and strain and having to buy golf balls, you know it, is the PGGS way. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this little poem because every now and then I guess we got to make things a little bit more refreshing here and, and uh, enjoyable. That's it for today and I'll be talking with you all again soon.